Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm going to show you something kind of cool that I discovered recently through trial and error a bit. Uh, this is a tutorial of sorts using an Android emulator for PC called Nox, N-O-X, and I'll put a link to where to download Nox, which is a free emulator application in the description of this video. Uh, in combination with an application called Cast Receiver, uh, at least in version 1.4.2 and later, I'm able to actually both screen and audio capture from the Oculus Quest using an Android emulator directly on my PC. So what that means is I'm currently capturing this footage via OBS. If I click on Cast Receiver right here, and check that box. It's now enabled as a Google Cast receiver. Go into my Oculus Quest here. And if I select the cast option at the bottom of the screen, it's actually going to show that Chromecast receiver as an option now for headset casting. So Usually the default available option is Oculus app. That'll take it to your phone's Oculus app. If you have a Chromecast, it'll actually say the name of that Chromecast. Now in this case, the name of the Chromecast for my device is SM-G930K-115. And that's because I'm simulating right now a Samsung Note 8, which is a G930K with Knox. You can name that anything you want to write within cast receiver within Knox. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. There we go. So we're opening up Radial G. And as you can hear quite loudly, probably, uh, because it's coming from multiple sources, um, including my PC audio source. Let me go ahead and turn it down a bit. You can hear and now see Radio G. So we're going to hit play. We're going to just do a lap attack here. We'll use the Hound. Stick with the Zone Alpha. Start the application up here. There we go. I am racing terribly right now, but that's fine because this is not a career mode or anything of that nature. There is a few seconds lag, so you might actually have a lot of echo from the music and things of that nature right now. But with a pair of headphones in, it's going to be fairly seamless. Now, of course, my actions are going to be a little bit different, depending on the game. It'll be a few seconds off. But it works. And I'm going to show that it'll even capture from unknown sources here. So if we go with to the top, one of my favorite uh, side quest enabled games. You'll see it's got electric hat games here. Loading up the game works just fine. Go ahead and click on easy here, and we'll just go to the rooftop for just a moment here. So you could hear the music. I can go in further and do more, but I think you get the general drift. Um, again, all I did was go into sharing and casting. If I click this button, it's going to turn off that casting feature. 
can see on the screen right now that it is casting to that Chromecast. There's no random magical thing happening here. I am just using the Nox emulator with the casting feature with cast receiver. We hit stop casting. It stops casting and it freezes on the screen. Now, in order to unfreeze the screen, all I have to do is hit this back button on the emulator. It exits playback, takes us right back to cast receiver. Now I want to also mention if you get Knox Player and you install Cast Receiver through the App Center on Knox Player, it's going to install with version 1.4.2 or higher if you get this at a later date. And it's going to install the trial version. In order to purchase the full application, which is $3.99, you click on the version number here it'll pop up a pop-up and just like you would with any other Play Store application you can go ahead and purchase it as an in-app purchase. Now I chose Cast Receiver over a couple of other applications that work in Knox uh, for this type of broadcasting. A because it's got both screen capture and sound and B because it's got a fairly good quality with the least expensive cost point. So if you think about purchasing a Chromecast, that's around $25 or more by itself. Purchasing the ability to broadcast that Chromecast to your PC, you have to get an HDCP splitter, you have to get a couple of other components, you need to get a capture device, something similar to an Elgato or a uh, capture card essentially for, for HDMI capture. That adds up over time. With this particular program, Knox Player, I'm able to download Knox for free, download Cast Receiver to experiment for free, download Cast Receiver for $3.99 for the registered premium copy, and now capture both video and audio from my Quest fairly seamlessly onto my PC for video capture. Now this can be used for streaming, this can be used for standard videos. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention though is in order to get this synced up so that it's using the same network profile as the Quest, you do have to go into phone model and internet, you do have to enable this feature that says enable network bridge mode. Now if that's not enabled, Cast Receiver is going to basically be on its own simulated virtual network instead of the same network as the Quest. It will not recognize Cast Receiver in the Quest as a Chromecast option. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out of here. I want to show you one sort of bug that's minor uh, that does occur. If we exit out of Knox and we hit OK, and then we try to launch Knox again, See here, it says, failed to start the emulator. The network bridge function is not available in the current network environment. Uh, it will not launch the emulator, so I'm going to go ahead and close the emulator. What you need to do at that point, um, for some reason, it's forgetting the NetBridge installed driver. Um, I don't know why it's doing that on my particular PC. It may not do that for anyone else. But you want to go into the directory where you have Knox installed, go into the BIN directory, and then just click on NetBridge Installer. Now it's installed that driver again on my PC. If I open Knox a second time, it should open without incident. We can go right back into Cast Receiver now. It's got that NetBridge all installed still. I don't, again, know why that's occurring. Um, it may be a fault of my PC setup, to be honest, but I just wanted to show that as a workaround if you have that same issue once you get Knox installed. And again, I'm going to just launch into casting from my headset. You can see it again on the screen. Everything works just fine. So hope this is helpful to some folks.
I'm super happy that I'm able to do this now. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. Uh, it's It's got a little bit of pixelation and things of that nature, but it's so much easier than using ADB tools or using Visor or something else of that nature and having to use Bluetooth receivers and transmitters to capture the audio from the Quest. I feel like I can stream more regularly with the Quest using this tool than I would if I was using any of the other setups that I've used in the past. And it's the least expensive. At $3.99 total cost, uh, I will say Knox is a little strange. If I go out of the application here for cast receiver, see it just popped up Raid Shadow Legends. This is just a shortcut to install this application. It, it does that every time you load it up. You can easily just take those and hit uninstall and get rid of those applications. It's not a big deal. I think it's really a way to try to get folks to install more applications um, and make more payments through the Knox App Center or through Play Store. Um, but again, Knox is kind of freeware, works just fine for this purpose using cast receiver. I recommend cast receiver over some of the other applications again because A, it gives you audio and B, it's the least costly alternative for doing this. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out uh, the ability to Chromecast now directly to your PC. I hope this helps other streamers and other video content creators to share more from the Quest. The Quest Wireless is a beautiful device and being able to share more content using this setup is going to be awesome for me. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.